first super fight of the night, Rick Rufus and Musashi. This legendary Warriors saga continues to unfold. Rick the Jet. The first K1 USA champion, Rick Rufus. A southpaw with a precision punch. One hit in your history. Rufus has skill, dexterity, strength, will, and experience with a beautiful boxing technique refined through years of battle. Hey America, it's Rick the Jet Rufus, and I'm back. The 747 is rebuilt stronger than ever. So hold your seats because I'm flying high in the sky and I'm beating Musashi. Guarantee it. An American kickboxing legend crosses swords with a two-time K-1 finalist. The true essence of today's K-1. A K-1 World Grand Prix finalist two years running, Musashi. Grounded in karate, his legs are like two swords slicing into his enemies at all angles, cutting away their defense. He is recognized as one of the most consistent fighters in K1 history. Veteran, this kid, um, ah, well, 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 now at the top of his game, Musashi begins his road to another Tokyo Dome appearance. Musashi versus Rick the Jet Rufus. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, we present a K-1 Super Fight Special Attraction. Prepare to welcome the honored fighters as they make their way to the ring. First entering to the blue corner, trained in the traditions of boxing and kickboxing. Introducing Rick the Jet Rufus. <laughs> AKA with Rufus, K1 be where we bout to get ruthless. That's not a threat, man. It's a promise. Weapon AZ, rough and tough like Hollis. Sound the bell, man. Got the cell, man. Should've thought twice when I welcome to hell, man. Hook after hook, don't leave your ass shook, man. Go tell your friends better yet, go ahead and hook. Too late. Here comes the dirty, y'all swift drop the beats. We send you on a journey. Not from the south, but we bound to do you dirty. Bring them out, bring them out. And now, ladies and gentlemen, making his way to the red corner, trained in the discipline of Sedo Kaikan Karate, introducing Musashi.
All right, fans, here we go with a special attraction coming your way, a Fields K-1, a super fight showdown, scheduled three three-minute rounds of action. K-1 rules apply. Introducing to you our referee in charge of this bout, we have Al Wickers. Introducing to you first on my right, he is fighting out of the blue corner, wearing white trunks with blue and red trim, fighting out of Tempe, Arizona, by way of Mill. His record stands at 61 wins, 7 losses, with 40 wins coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the former WBC Continental America's cruiserweight boxing champion and the six-time world kickboxing champion. Please welcome the legendary Rick the Jet Rufus. his opponent across the ring on my left fighting out of the red corner in this K1 a super fight wearing silver trunks with blue trim joining us from Osaka Japan he stands six feet one inches and weighed in at 221 pounds with a record of 37 wins 20 losses five draws he has won no contest with 11 of his wins coming by way of knockout here is the two-time runner-up in the k1 world grand prix in tokyo finals and the four-time k1 grand prix japan tournament champion ladies and gentlemen introducing musashi Once again, Al Wickers is our third man to the ring now to give instructions. Three three-minute rounds of action scheduled. Hey, fellas, you know the rules. I want you to protect yourself at all times. Obey my commands at all times. Corners, fighters, any questions? Corners, any questions? Touch them up, let's rock and roll. All right, slightly different rules for this K-1 super fight than the tournament rules. Three three-minute rounds, three knockdown rule in effect. Straight three, no standing eight count. America's favorite kickboxer, Rick Rufus. Japan's favorite fighter, Musashi. Head-to-head -head here in Musashi's second appearance in Las Vegas. He was here two years ago. The crowd knows his name. The crowd loves him. But likewise for Rick the Jet Rufus. Oh, Rufus with a big kick to the head of Musashi to start things off. Has Rick lost some weight? Yes, he has. Uh, he's uh, talking to me, he said he's worked a lot on losing weight as well as being smart in the ring and speed. Well, he sat right here in this chair where you are a couple years ago and said he was done. <laughs> he doesn't look like it in there. <laughs> Musashi seemingly has been around forever. We see him every year yet, only 32 years old, apparently in the prime of a kickboxer, K-1 fighter's life. That's right. And Musashi, again, brings a lot of experience to the ring. He's fought the top fighters, all the top fighters out there in the world. Um, so it's a, it's a very good matchup. And ironically, these two fighters, so well-known, so successful, never has there been a K-1 champion from Japan or the United States. Those Dutch seem to have the whole. Uh, I don't know what they eat over there. I want to go over and find out. Great <laughs> fight. Rick the Jet, always a very entertaining fighter. I was going to say he's wearing red, white, and blue shorts, but he's cut the middle out of his shorts. It's kind of a, a kilt thing going on here. It almost looks like a skirt. Yeah. I wasn't going to go there. That's why I went with kilt. Now, the thing is, did he cut that, or did Mushashi kick that and ripped it up? That's very possible. Yeah. <laughs> I'd get a new tailor if he was able to be kicked and split up. The jet peppering away with that annoying kick, right foot. Right. Yeah. Sashi has shown he can take so much punishment in the ring and still be effective. He's a very tough opponent. Uh, and right now, Musashi is actually just waiting, timing, and uh, going for that. 
I know you fought him two times. He always seems to be, I mean, just from outward appearances, he seems to be a little overweight, a little doughboy like, but he's a tough man. Uh, very much so. And he always comes fit to the fight, too. Yeah. Oh, good uppercut from Rufus. And a counterattack from Musashi. That's his specialty. Right, it's that leg shift. They can put a line here in Vegas on what color Musashi's hair will be also any time he comes to the ring. We know about Rick, though. He's not going to have any. <laughs> Closing seconds of the first round. And that's the end. Two fighters exchange a respectful tap and go back to their corners. Very much a feeling out round. Yeah, that's right. It was. Musashi's name was mentioned here at the Bellagio. A huge cheer went up. K1 fans certainly know him, know his history. It's a treat to have him over here. He was here two years ago in a friendly appearance by his trainer and from the K1 referee, Nobaki Kakuda. And a very emotional night for both of them. I mean, that's another fight that we talk about retirement. Uh, he just came out of retirement also. Yeah, oh no, is that right? Remember, what's the most fun? But I'm not too sure if he's going to continue because uh, he came out every time he lost to Ajibono in so career. So uh, we'll have to wait and see. Of course, you last fought on December 31st. You're around, right? You're not going anywhere. That's right, absolutely. Okay, good. I think I got a good another four years to go. Excellent. Hey! Beginning of round number two. Clock already has started. Rufus on the left, Musashi on the right. It's so tough to get inside on Rick. Well, Musashi's doing the right thing. He's, you know, barring that front leg and going low. Uh, what he should do also is actually, throw, you know, find his uh, distance with his jab and continue uh, leg kicking. N neither fighter really wants to fight inside. Right. Some redness on that on the ribs of Musashi where he has been smacked by Rick Rufus. Right now, Mushashi should go. Rick is on the ropes. Oh, good right hand from Rick. The counter back with the head kick. There you go. Do a fighter's legs get more susceptible with age? <laughs> That's a good question. <laughs> you gotta wonder. And now Rick starting to take the pain. No, I think Rick's starting to feel that leg kick now. Oh. Now it's going high. Gotta keep his hands up. Rick the Jet, 37 years old, Musashi 32. That's a critical five-year period, too. Right now, Rick needs to block those leg kicks because if he keeps uh, if he keeps taking those leg kicks, he's not gonna, this fight's not going to last too long. Musashi, another one of the huge K1 superstars in Japan. I haven't seen much of uh, Musashi's hands. He has great um, hands also, and I uh, haven't seen much. Obviously, he he's good enjoying. Boxing. Yeah, that's right. And obviously, he's, uh, oh, that was a hit, a kick to the head, and uh, Rick needs to keep those hands up. Who needs hands, huh? <laughs> <laughs> well, if it's working, keep doing it. Absolutely. And I think that's where he's found and will find success with Rufus. Right. He can stay outside. And just pick away. That's exactly what Rick needs to do is he does that best is on the move and, and fire from there. Right clock for Musashi goes Ooh. down low, comes up high. Well, that leg is looking purple right now. The right leg of Rick Rufus starting to tell the story, show the marks, the pattern exactly what Musashi's trying to do. Ooh, oh boy, that, that was a very good right hand. That had fight end all over it. Spinning back kick. Oh, Musashi looks too relaxed in there. <laughs> boy, but what a great round for Musashi. Exactly. Uh, Rick Rufus did not score much. He got a hurt. Musashi with the kicks down low and up high. Rick Rufus totally thwarted in that middle round.
I'm looking right at Rick's leg right now, and it's swollen. And uh, like we said earlier, he needs to start blocking, otherwise that's about what he in the next round. There you see, they're icing that leg already. That might have been a close round for him, all right? One to one, baby. This round's fun. Good timing from Musashi. He realizes um, Rick is stepping back, so he counters to the leg. And he's been doing that all night. Lands a good right hand. Oh, second top. Well, that's going to be the wild card here in round number three of this first super fight of the night. Still to come is our K1 tournament. Musashi still sitting at the bell. Like I said, he's too relaxing. Yeah, now. you're right. <laughs> Semi-final action coming your way. In the K1 tournament. Musashi. I feel Silver really strong board. points is his hands, and I think he needs to get in there and start mixing it up. Well, there is such a thing as too much of a good thing in K1. It does begin to sour. You got to move on to something new. <laughs> Just try the right leg, he says. <laughs> <laughs> Musashi right now is just kicking at will and picking his shots. And Rick just has not been able to get the punches in. That's right. Well, Musashi's a very good counterfighter also. He's also one of these fighters, very good on his feet, movement-wise. Reach, oh, reach an opponent very well. As a counterfighter, I think he's one of the best. I mean, you can just look at his old fights and just count on it, waiting for that other fighter to throw the technique, and he comes right back. Right, exactly. But again here, uh, he's the first to act a lot of times. I think Musashi's starting to play now. Yeah, but you don't want to show up America's favorite kickboxer. Exactly, the exactly. What, what Rick needs to do right now is go to his jab and work from there. Uh, I think he's trying to do too many uh, technical things. He should stay basic and go from there. You got to wonder what Rick is planning for the future. Again, this is not a fight that it's going to seal any deals. He's not going to win a tournament. It's a reserve fight here. He needs to get some action under his belt. Right. But still, he can end the fight with one punch. And I think Musashi just ducked under that one. <laughs> yeah, it may have been the one. <laughs> oh, there goes the hit kick again. I think Rick felt that. Oh! Musashi getting one for holding onto the ropes. And the elbow. He can't get close enough to throw an elbow, though, I think. Rick the Jet. Well, there's less than a minute to go, and Rick needs to work. He wants to win this fight, he needs to work. Well, he needs another three rounds, okay. I think. <laughs> it looks like he might be getting warmed I up. I don't think he's going to last about three rounds with the, taking those leg kicks like that. <laughs> Sashi went low, Rufus went high, neither scored. Musashi smiles at him. But that's when Rook should actually jump at him when he's smiling. Oh, yeah. Well, mind you, you know, I do that too. It doesn't necessarily mean you're hit, though, so. Musashi off balance for a moment. Rook is just not moving forward at all. And that is the end of this super fight. A good one between Rick Rufus and Musashi. Very interesting how that developed. I'm not sure Rick did enough to win the fight. No, uh, he, you know, he tried to throw Littler upstairs. Mishashi had this range right, countering back with a low kick, and uh, he's been scoring with that all night. Don't watch him when he kicks low. Punch him when he kicks low. Come on, bro. Stand up and like a winner. You know, Rick took a lot of punishment, feeling his 37 years. Musashi very effective with the kicks. He goes a head kick and uh, fortunate for Rick, his hit, uh, right hand was up. Oh. <laughs> a blur going by. Rick is like, what was that? Oh man, what was the number on that train is what it was. <laughs> Musashi now graciously acknowledging and thanking the crowd here at the Bellagio. And let's go up to our ring announcer, Jimmy Lennon Jr. To find out exactly how this one's going to play out. Well, 
now they're still compiling the numbers. Rick Rufus maybe just trying to work his way back into shape. Not sure where, again, he's had it. Well, yeah, it's a tough one. Uh, you know, Musashi is uh, an active fighter. He's active with top fighters, and so, you know, it's a big task to ask for. All right, I think our decision is ready up to Jimmy Lennon Jr. I think it's going to be a split. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action in this super fight, we have a split decision. Here are the score totals. Judge at ringside, Jeff Mullen scores about 29.5 to 28 in favor of Musashi. Judge at ringside, Dalby Shirley sees about 29.5 to 29 in favor of Rick Rufus. Judge at ringside, Adelaide Bird sees about 30 to 27.5 in favor of the winner, Musashi. Had us worried there for a second. Yeah, it did. Um, well, we called it for Musashi, obviously, and that was, we heard the split decision. And a bit surprising, but Musashi, again, the winner, more active. He landed more techniques, and Rick the Jet just did not prove he was a winner tonight. Right. Just didn't find his range with his shots. And uh, I'm glad the decision went to him. Hey, it is not here. Beautiful left hand from uh, Rick, but I think it was uh, one too late. That, uh, again, Musashi's been countering to the leg all night and uh, scoring and winning by that uh, technique there. Musashi, the winner in that reserve super fight.